Good morning, I am Rohit and today I will help you create and start working in Tally in 10 minutes flat. This is the opening screen of the Tally. When I click to, on the Tally icon, this screen opens up. I go to the create company. I create a company. Selection of state is very important because as per this selection, my statutory forms will be loaded. I select accounts, accounts with inventory because I want to maintain accounts as well as do invoicing in this company which has been which is being created. So now, first I will configure certain things. I will press F11, then check inventory features, allow invoicing yes, enter purchases in invoice mode yes. Then I will go to F3 statutory details. I will select enable VAT yes and set and alter VAT details. In this field I will be selecting the dealer as per my requirement. I will enter my TIN number here. So now I will create certain ledgers. I will create a sales account. Under sales account. VAT applicable yes and I will select the class as applicable. I will now select sales 5% account again VAT applicable yes and sales 5%. I have to select as per my requirement. Now I will make some purchase accounts also. Comes under purchase account. I have to create some duties and taxes ledger also. One will be output VAT 13.5% comes under duties and taxes, VAT, output VAT, and output VAT 13.5%. VAT is generally not rounded up. Same thing, I repeat. Some input ledgers also. VAT, it will be input VAT here. And 
input VAT 5%. If I go to alter, I will see I see the ledgers which have been created. Look here, I created output VAT 13% instead of output VAT 13.5. So I alter this ledger again. Do the relevant modification and save the thing. <coughs> Now I come out, go to inventory info and I want to create some items. Item with tax rate 13.5% <clears throat> Here I select F12 and Select specified default ledger accounting for invoicing. Yes. I open this thing. I select a relevant sales ledger and a relevant purchase ledger here. Group can be a normal primary or we can create some new groups. In units, I have not created any units. I can create the units from this screen only without going out and cre creating the units. So what I do is Alt C numbers. We are no decimals here and VATED is 13.5% <clears throat> I create a 5% item select 5% numbers write 5 here as a rate of VAT and if I have some opening stocks I can also write here so now my certain ledgers are created along with two items I will now have to go to accounting in vouchers Here, first I will make some purchases. I will put the supply invoice number. I do not have any supplier. So I will create one here with Alt plus C. At set alter VAT details, I will have to enter the status of the dealer along with the TIN number. Look, the same TIN number which I have created is displayed here along with the status. I select item which I have to purchase 100 pieces of item at 90 rupees each twenty five pieces at hundred rupees each <clears throat> then I will also have some duties here which the supplier has charged from me look the duty has been calculated by the software itself I have finished my purchase invoice now maybe on 10th of April I want to enter some sales bills I do not have a customer I create one 
by pressing Alt plus C. I want to alter the VAT details. Again, he's a registered dealer and maybe his TIN number is this. The goods which I purchased, the quantity is being displayed here. So I select item 5%, 10 numbers and I want to purchase it at 90 rupees and I can sell it for maybe 100 rupees. If I want to know the status of my purchase and sales, I just press stock on query. It shows me my history of this particular item. I will have to select the ledgers. The VAT is charged by itself. Again, after on maybe on 15th, I do another sale to another customer. Ninety pieces which were left, so I sell again. So I finished my stock. Now two things arise. I have made some purchases. I have to make payment to this person from whom I have made purchases. I have sold some stock and I have to receive some amount from this customer <coughs> what I do is I on maybe 20th this customer comes to me and says here is my payment so I open a receipt voucher F6 and I receive it in cash from customer 1 I have billed for 4455 rupees I receive this amount here select the again the same date the other customer also comes to me and says I am also making the payment <clears throat> uh, of course I have money now I can pay to the supplier so on 21st of April I go and make the payment to the supplier so what I do is I press F5 payment voucher payment voucher is being displayed here I also want to make cash payment to my supplier his outstanding was 12,287 rupees 50 pesa so I want to make all the payment here right it has been done also you must have noticed I have charged certain tax for my customers and my supplier charge some tax I have to make my VAT payment now so what I do is I open my payment voucher F5 and here I can see now this tax has to be deposited on some date which is defined for different states. Somewhere it is quarterly, somewhere it is monthly. So if it is quarterly, I give the date 30th 6 and make a start payment. I want to select that. Autofill statutory payment, yes, yes. 
the whole quarter and look the whole thing is here in seconds i have to make a payment of 117 rupees and 50 pesa after making the payment i can again open this voucher and make the relevant details fill uh, fill the relevant details here I have now deposited the tax also. If I want to see ledgers and their accounts of my customers and suppliers, I go to display, account books, ledgers and customer one, yes, here it is. This was my sale to him, this was my receipt from him. If I want to select another customer, I press F4. The other customer again f4 and this supplier and f4 if i want to say uh, see the sales account here it is and one thing more from f12 if i press show running balance it also shows the running balance as what in the manual accounts which were being done years ago one more tip at every entry screen or the report screen just go through a form by pressing f12 configure you have various different options in all these different vouchers and report screens you can always check them according to your requirement Uh, maybe I want to give uh, enter some payment voucher also expense voucher again again I go to accounting vouchers I want to enter my mobile bills mobile bills account it is expense account Twenty-five. I'm very like thrifty. I don't spend much on my, my mobiles. So twenty-five rupees. I have made a payment to the mobile company. So this is done. This way, I have created company, created certain ledgers, some items, duty ledgers made some purchases sales got receipts from my sales customers and paid to my supplier i also maintained certain ledgers and made some expense accounts also i also entered a vat payment voucher so now you you must have understood that it is very very easy to create a company and start working in tally sometimes my chartered accountant says oh where's your trial balance so what i do is i go to display again trial books here is my trial balance if i want to see it ledger wise f5 the whole trial balance is here which earlier in manual accounts it took me hours and hours to compile and maintain so that was creating and working in tally in no time